It is very easy to hold your assets in a revocable living trust. The only thing that changes is you sign your name, Timothy Johnson, trustee, as opposed to Timothy Johnson. There is a process that needs to be done to transfer the assets from you as an individual to your trust. And when you work with a full service law firm like ours, we would assist you in fully funding the trust. This means that we must touch the banker, the broker, the mutual fund, the insurance agent, and tell them that instead of them dealing with you as an individual, they're dealing with you as the trustee of your revocable living trust. Once you are taught how to hold the assets, it's very simple when you buy a new car and they say, do you want the car titled to Timothy or Dorothy? No, I want it titled to the Johnson Family Revocable Living Trust, and that's the way we avoid probate. It is relatively straightforward to own assets in the trust as opposed to owning them individually. The advantage of owning the assets in the trust is that your family won't have to go through the time-consuming, expensive, public probate court process.